Hello YouTube and welcome to this short of tutorial mixed on with live streaming because we want to create a project. Well, basically we have a project in which there is a timer on the screen while the stream is starting. Before the stream is starting, we have this timer you can see. And what we want to do is that we also have this song, which I'd like to play uh, exactly before the stream starts but the counter the timer actually it's longer so like we're going to have like three minutes and exactly uh, before the stream starts you can see here this song is two minutes and two seconds we want to kind of dynamically see in JavaScript how long the song is how many seconds and when we reach that many seconds in the timer we want to start playing the song so that when the timer hits zero, the song is stopped and I can start streaming. So let's see how we can do this. This is basically the project I have, which is here on top of the screen. You can see the timer. And well, when I refresh, it says two minutes and 29 seconds because I just changed it now to be, well, two and a half minutes. But by default, I think we'll have it at three minutes and the good thing about this is that whenever we're going to change the song, maybe it will be five minutes or so, this algorithm will still, well, it should still work to find the exact amount of seconds. All right, let's see. So we have the song, let's import it on the screen uh, in, in index.html. So audio, and we're going to have source, away that mp3 all right okay so away that mp3 this should work and let's give it an id of audio so that we can target it in javascript good now let's get it const audio element will be document get element by id audio and maybe we can just play it and see if it works that play yeah so now you can hear the song which is great it's playing but we need some more information about this element uh let's see audio i need to check it out audio javascript i think uh, okay dom reference there is a property which will get us the total length or something like that what was it uh, duration okay so we can get let's see const duration from the audio element and let's do a console let's do an alert so we can see it there duration when we refresh this not the number all right so something's up let's let's the console.log and see the entire element not the number okay uh, hmm that's interesting we need on load event says someone in the chat uh that's interesting because basically we have defer here so should it work I guess or maybe on load on the song uh load reload the song no can't play no so it, it's not loaded and that's probably why it's making this sticks <laughs> these are the events okay loop yeah so well i guess we don't need it to take it here loaded data event maybe load a 
loaded data fires when the browser has loaded the current frame over the audio. All right. Uh, and we're going to change this to let duration be zero for now. And let's write that event. So audio element dot loaded unload unloaded data. Oh, these are the properties. Uh, add event listener loaded data. Okay, let's see if this fires and what we have here in E. Console.log E. We're debugging. Okay. So we have an event, uh, timestamp, okay. It doesn't seem to have duration. Yeah, undefined. Uh, the path, source, maybe we can just do here, audio element, the duration should be loaded. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. So we run this event and now we can store the duration. So duration should be audio element uh, duration like that. And it will now be stored in this variable. Okay. Now we have this timer function, which is called every second. It calls itself until uh, the seconds are all, well, until we reach zero. So what we want to see here is whenever the seconds left are, let's see. So basically we want to start the song exactly when we hit the seconds. Let's also like the duration to see it again. How many we had? 122. So maybe at 125 seconds or something like that, uh, we can start the song. So if seconds, uh, let's see, we need to do minus five seconds, which will start five seconds earlier, right? It's less than our duration, then we can do audio element dot play. So for example, here we have 136 seconds, minus five seconds, it will be 100. Uh, how much you said 126 minus five is 121, which is less than the duration, which is 122. So it should play the song. And basically, it will give us like five seconds ahead. All right, and we can, well, not on play, play, just play. And also uh, let's store a variable that is playing, or I guess we have that uh, on the audio element. Let's see here in the reference, uh, playing fires when the audio, oh, this is the event. Pause, muted. Hmm, I don't see pause. Played, returns a times range object representing the played part. No. Yeah, I guess we can just keep our own Boolean. So let started playing is false. So if the seconds are like that and it didn't start playing yet, we want to play it and then we put this to true. So then it won't fire again. That's why we kind of need the boolean here. All right. Now we kind of need to wait. Uh, yeah, 20 seconds. <laughs> or we can change the code to wait less than 20 seconds, but yeah, it should be fine. Let's see, 10 more seconds. <laughs> Raise the suspense here. It should start. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. 
and now the good thing is that it will start to stop exactly uh, five seconds before we reach zero. I guess we can even store this, the five seconds here, to be uh, comes uh, start buffer or start being buffer. Okay, let me stop the song. Okay, so seconds mine is starting buffer. We created this, so basically we can maybe just start it at two seconds before. Let's put this at 2.1. See, so now it starts. All right, good. We change it back to three seconds. So now whenever uh, our starting screen here will load, it should start the song right before, well, the total time should be that long so that it will end at zero or, well, basically our starting buffer. All right. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. It was live, so sorry for the mistakes, but we're learning together. Make sure you check out my streams on Twitch. I'll put the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.